is Potty Pictorial. <laughs> Let's say a hearty thank you to the voluntary services of Great Britain, and in particular to this wonderful organization, the Meals on Wheels. What a splendid job they do for the old cops, for people. One of the more unusual sports played in Lancashire on Christmas Day is that of granddad bowling. Bags eye heads. Oh. Mm. I concede first grunt to you. First grunt accepted, sir. Prepare to be granddad around. Mm. <laughs> Ollie's a Kimbo. Computation. A full groit, sir. I shall try for half a twiddle. Continental fashion. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Gossy by! I shall have to try for fast jumps, Your Grace. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> I've been back! I'm going to try for a complete plunk, Father. Great day this must be for Professor Van Driver, as he prefers to test his latest scientific invention, the clockwork trousers. And it hats off to the brave young pilot as he prepares to climb into the cockpit and risk everything. What a nerve-wracking moment this must be for the professor as he revs up the engine. It is oh, indeed. Very, very plumptious and discumnocorating. <laughs> <coughs> nice to be on your show, young man. It's very nice to have Hi, you. Joe. Thank you. 1965. Where were you? Um, where was I? I was three in yeah, 1965. Well, good, good lad. Yes, I remember waving to you in, in your pram. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting year for me. I produced my very first laughter show at the Royal Court Theatre, mm -hmm. and we brought it to the London Palladium. Uh, the the Diddy Men uh, stuck a new marmalade seam in the Jam Butty Mines. And we played the London Palladium. We broke the record. We did the longest variety season ever from Easter. We went from Easter to Christmas. Twice nightly, three times on a Saturday. Now you and you know yourself what the Palladium is like, don't you? Oh, yes. What a yes. thrill. That London Palladium to stand on that very stage, on that very spot where so many famous artists have been found strangled. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're no, as we've said, you're no stranger to that stage. Do you remember that performance in 1965? Oh, yeah. Yes, I remember in London very well in those days. London was uh, there was Carnaby street there was all the hippies i was the very first hippie you know yes, right? i was scruffy long before Bel bob geldorf ever thought of it <laughs> <laughs> you know i was trendy and london was terrible it's terribly expensive now it was cheap in those days expensive now we were in uh, at the palladium last year for six weeks i had to break into another fiver uh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> in that series that we saw, and we were looking at a clip there, Michael Palin was uh, yes, the shoots firing the starting yes, gun. Yes, yes, yes. It was Michael Palin and Terry Jones. They were just uh, two, of the, uh, two of the stooges, two of the lads. So you were in, involved in television lunacy long before Monty oh, Python yes, came yes, I, I was, I was, uh, they talk about alternative comedy. I was doing alternative comedy when I was four years old. <laughs> My mother said, pull your trousers up. <laughs> 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 uh, Comedy has changed, because comedy in those days was very, very gentle mm. and uh, absurd and, and very, very funny. Mm. And I think it's, uh, today, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's more aggressive, yes. Where did, the, where did the catchphrases come from? This catchphrases, well, the, uh, the, I started on that royal show, actually, it was where, that's the sort of act I did. I said, what a beautiful day. Why, Joe, what a beautiful day for dashing down to Trafalgar Square, chucking a bucket of whitewash over the pigeons and saying, there you are, how do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful day, all the husbands, night lads, romantic night, seize your opportunity, try shoving a handful of ice cubes down your wife's nighty and saying, there's the chest freezer you've always wanted. <laughs> yes. How tickled 
my hand by all this goodwill. Have you ever been taken by goodwill, Mrs? Good old Willie. <laughs> uh, you had a record out as well. I had a record, of course, I had tears. Yes, I had, uh, I had tears, which sold two million, so I got two golden discs. And then uh, in the November, we had The River, which got a silver disc. So uh, it did very well on the recording scene. Mm. We're doing an LP this year, so, uh, you know, it should be. Hopefully, we'll... Uh, have another go in the charts. And what about, what about the, the Diddy Men? How are they, are they? The Diddy, I'm glad you asked that. The Diddy Men, they're doing very well. Did you used to watch the Diddy Men, Philip? Did I add all the records as well? Did you really? Oh, yes. We are the Diddy Men. Hey, Marmalaysia! <laughs> yes, they're doing very well. The Diddy Men, they're still with us. They're uh, still mining in the Jambity Mines. Jambity Mines, the, uh, the Broken Biscuit Repair Works, the Going Crackers, and uh, <laughs> the, the Snuff Quarries are doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all it's all harmless uh, fun I, with my kind of comedy it's more important to me that people are very very happy when they go out of the theater you know more happy than when they came in mm. harmless chuckle okay. muscles and all that Don't everyone you? in uh, in here this evening is ladies and gentlemen ken dodd <laughs> this is for you oh what goodness me now there's an honor Thank you very much indeed. Our thanks to Ken Dodd and to Ray Galton and Alan Simpson. Join us next week for another edition of Television's Greatest Hits and we'll leave you with another performance from the year's number one music show. Cilla Black sings the music of Lennon and McCartney. Good night. <laughs> Stay tuned for comedy with Gareth Hunt and Louisa Ricks side by side. Next on one. Love.